Welcome back to part five. In the last part, we added our UI for our game screens. And in this one, we're gonna do a little more UI work, adding a HUD, a heads-up display for displaying our score and other information during gameplay. Okay, we're also gonna start with a canvas layer. And this is gonna be our HUD. And our HUD needs to show two pieces of information, our score, which is going to be in, we're gonna use another margin container, which I'm going to set to bottom wide. And we'll set our custom constants again. And inside of there, I'm gonna put an H box with, this is the, this is the score box I'm gonna call this, so we have it labeled. And inside of here are gonna be two labels. One to show the score, which we'll use the font that we used before. Let's put some text in there just to have an example. And we'll load the font. We're gonna put it on the right. I'm gonna add a second label. I want this one on the left. This is gonna say the word score. And I wanna load the same font, except I wanna change the size. So I'm gonna go in here and grab the font, and I'm gonna change the size by saying make unique. All right, let's fix the layout here. So we'll set the size flags, make sure the vertical size flags set to fill, and that should line everything up just right. Okay, the other thing we want our HUD to show is a message that's gonna tell us when we go up a level and that kind of thing. I'm gonna use the same font. Let's put some text in there and center, I'm gonna keep it centered. Uh, I wanna clip the text in case it goes bigger. See why in a second. And then we're gonna set it to center wide like that. And what I wanna do with this message is I wanna animate it. I want it to look like it's uh, growing and fading out. So we're gonna need an animation player for that. I have two animations I want to add in here, one that sets it to its starting values and one that will perform the animation. So make our init one, which is our starting one, which can be very short. It's going to set the messages font values, so we need to make this unique as well. It's going to set the size to our starting value, and it's going to set the visible off so that it is invisible when it starts. And then the second animation is going to do the animation. Let's make the length of this about 0.75. Zoom in a bit. Now we want to. First thing we want to do is set the visibility on at time zero. We're going to take the font size and we're going to animate that from there up to some really large value. We want that to be continuous. And then we also want it to fade out, so we're going to take the modulate and we're going to keyframe that there and at the end with the alpha down at zero. So now our animation does that. The message expands and fades out. Okay, let's add a script to the HUD. 
and this is going to do a couple of things. We're going to have a show message function that will let us call that. So we set the message text and we play the animation. We're going to have a hide and show so that we can because the HUD itself is a canvas layer, so it doesn't have its own uh, show and hide methods, but we can, we just want to show and hide the score box when we're, when the game ends. And then the last one is we need to update the score. And that is going to set the value into the score box. Now we can go back over to our main and we can instance that HUD scene. Our HUD scene is there. And now in our main script, we want to call hide on the HUD when we start the game. When we have a new game, we're going to show it and also show a message. And then we're going to hide the HUD on game over, which is here. Let's see what that looks like. There's our go. It's moving downwards instead of going straight. So what's going on with that? Let's check our animation here. So I think what we want to change here is on the message, the, yeah, the grow direction should be both. Yeah, that's what we want. All right, so we should be good to go there. Now we get go, die, play again. Yeah, that looks good. Now that message is also going to show things like when we level up, it's going to it's going to put level three, level four, whatever. Maybe later when we have bonuses or things like that, it can show messages like that. All right, now we need to just hook up that score. So we're going to need a variable for that. We're going to set it to zero when we start a new game and call HUD.UpdateScore. And then we need to do the same thing. When the jumper is captured, we're just going to increment the score by one. All right, that'll do it for this part. Don't forget to subscribe below so you can get notified when the next part comes out, and I'll see you then.